Hello and welcome to another RimWorld 1.1 tutorial. In this tutorial, what I want to talk about is how you can obtain Plasteel. Plasteel is needed for you to make all of the best weapons and armor in the game, and you need lots of it. So how can you amass a fortune in Plasteel in 1.1? And things have changed a little bit. So normally when you would load into the game, you would look around the map, you'd sort of scan and see what sort of visible um, minerals and elements you have. You know, you've got, you got your components, you got your steel. Occasionally you'll have a little bit of silver poking out. Like right here, we got a little silver. It's not bad, not bad. Uh, we've got components, you know. So we've got, you know, resources that we can mine on the map, which is good. We actually got a lot of compacted machinery, which is nice. We got uh, a bit of gold, which is pretty good. Um, but in all of the times that I've loaded the map now in 1.1, I got gold again, I got silver. Very rarely will you see veins of Plasteel. Now they do spawn. So you can get veins of Plasteel spawning. And so if you do some, some mining, you might find some Plasteel in here somewhere, right? But we've got gold this time and maybe a little bit of silver, right? So Plasteel is a rare ore and uh, it, it can spawn, but it doesn't look like we have any here. And in the, I don't know, 25, 30 maps that I've loaded since 1.1, I've only ever seen plasteel visible once and even when mining i've only ever found it once so you know your map resource is not where you're going to get your plasteel so there's really only five ways that you can find plasteel basically i mean there's a sixth way okay but the sixth way is complete luck and that's if a meteorite drops from the sky so the odds of that happening for you is is rare so you can't you can't really count on that so what are the five ways that you can actually get plasteel in this game all right and the first way that you can get plasteel in this game and it doesn't involve you having any sort of tech is that you can basically buy it from traders so when traders come by you can go and buy it or what you can do is you can travel to the different uh, friendly factions and you can buy it from them. Of course, you're going to need uh, some sort of pack mule to basically bring that all back because Plasteel is heavy. So you can only carry so much with your colonists, right? So you're going to need to tame some animals to bring back any sort of quantity that's reasonable. And you're going to need an economy of making money. So of course, you know, whether you're, you know, selling organs or human leather dusters or, you know, you're growing, you know, fields of drugs, you're going to need to make some money to basically buy enough plasteel to do what you want in the game. And mostly that's just surviving. Hey, I just wanted to take a moment to let you know that I stream on Twitch on Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So feel free to jump on over to Twitch and uh, check me out live. And if you do want to know about what I'm uh, doing for YouTube, Twitch, or whatever, please feel free to follow me on Discord. Uh, links in the description. Or you can also follow me on Twitter at Delgar3. Back to the tutorial. The second way that you're going to get access to Plasteel is you're going to need to do some research. And eventually what's going to happen is you're going to get attacked by some mechanoids or a mech cluster is going to come by. And if a mech cluster happens to come by, some of the buildings will give you some Plasteel when they are destroyed. A lot of times those things blow up and you don't really get much out of them. But there might be some Plasteel in there. So that's a, another way of getting Plasteel. Um, but the other way is you can basically use a machining table to break down mechanoids to get plastio. However, when the game first launched in 1.1, mech clusters were amazing because they had a building that produced a mechanoid over and over that would just basically continue to attack your defenses and get destroyed. And it was basically an unlimited plastio generator. So, of course, Tynan, in his infinite wisdom, said, screw you, RimWorld players, and he removed or made some changes. Basically, those buildings will only produce so many uh, different, so many mechanoids rather than unlimited, and those mechanoids no longer just trickle into your defenses. 
So they basically stay with the cluster unless the cluster's main building has been destroyed. And But he went one step further. You used to get Plasteel from smelting down Lancers and Scythers and Pikemen, which are the new unit that was added. But now you only get Plasteel from basically breaking down the centipedes. So Scythers, Lancers, and Pikemen only net you steel. Which, basically, until you get into sort of the mid-late game, that's when you start getting attacked by the centipedes. So it, this one, you're going to have to wait on this, and, and you're going to have to take down centipedes, which is a lot more challenging than taking down some scythers and, and lancers. So it's, it's, it's one of the ways that you're going to get some plasteel, but this is not going to be your mainstay. But it's definitely one that you need to remember. Third way that you're going to get access to plasteel is through your electric smelter. If you're doing the crash landed scenario, you'll actually start with the electric smelter uh, because you have access to electricity. If you're tribal, uh, you're going to be a little ways away because you're going to have to actually get to research electricity before you get access to the electric smelter. And what you need is to build one of these electric smelters. And then what you can do is now in 1.1, you can actually smelt down uh, more than just weapons. You can actually smelt down uh, armor, helmets. Uh, you can even smelt down shield belts. So when you smelt down certain armors and helmets, you will get some plasteel out of it. The bonus here is if you get attacked by enemies wearing recon or better armor, so recon, marine, cataphract, or the like, what you can do is you can smelt down their tainted gear. So what I do is I create like a big giant corpse pile and then I strip all of the metal from their bodies and then smelt it down. I even smelt down all the steel because that's kind of how I roll. It's another way that you can get access to a bunch of plasteel and this will uh, help help keep you in check with some steel and plasteel. It's definitely worth doing, especially if you're in a steel poor environment. Actually, if I were to do another sea ice challenge now like I've done in the past, I would have access to a lot more steel just from the different raiders and stuff that would come by. The fourth way that you can acquire Plasteel is basically through the ground penetrating scanner. The research has been changed on this and I believe it has been moved. It used to be behind the multi-analyzer but now you only need microelectronics to get at the ground penetrating scanner. So you're going to need a ground penetrating scanner and you're going to need a researcher to basically use the scanner and what they'll do is they'll spend time researching at it and eventually they'll it'll pop up found x type of mineral problem with this one here is that it's random like you cannot specifically set it to search for plasteel so basically you just keep plugging away and eventually you'll find some deep node of plasteel on your map and then you set up a deep drill and you can start drilling away and you can get access to quite a bit of plasteel this way it's definitely worth it but it takes a researcher and then it'll take a miner to get it so it takes time plus you're going to find other minerals there and you're mostly you're going to find steel but you will find some plasteel with it so it's another way that you can get access to plasteel and you'll get a significant amount of it if you keep doing it and you have enough researchers with a good research skill you'll find more and more minerals and I believe you can build more than one ground penetrating scanner and, and if you have enough researchers you can find more and more the final way that you're going to be able to get access to Plasteel, and this is probably the best way, is the Long Range Mineral Scanner. What you're going to do is you're going to research the Long Range Mineral Scanner. You're going to go ahead and plunk one down. And again, you're going to need another researcher to use this one. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get a notification that you found a lump of Plasteel somewhere in the world, and then you have to send out a group to the location and then mine up that plasteel on that little mini map there might be some other steel or some other stuff that you can grab there and you can come back this way you can actually get large chunks of plasteel at a time you know the only problem is is you do have to leave your map tile to go and get it and you'll also again just like when you were doing trader option you're gonna have to have uh, a bunch of caravan animals that can basically haul stuff for you because you can only carry so much. And of course, you know, when you have hundreds of plasteel, it's going to weigh you down. This is the challenge here, but this will give you access to large chunks of plasteel. 
if you don't want to leave your map tile, then basically you're going to have to stick to the ground penetrating scanner. But as you push towards the end game, you're probably going to need both of these going so that you can keep yourself in the minerals that you need because you need uranium, you need plasteel, you need gold. Uh, those are like the three things that you're really going to need in addition to steel. But steel is really easy to come by. Those are really the five ways, six if you count the meteorite, that you can actually get access to plasteel. I guess there's a seventh way, and again, it's sort of luck based. You can have quests, right? There are, could be quests available where you can get plasteel as a reward. I just thought I would go over the different ways that you can get access to plasteel in the game, just because things have changed a little bit. I've definitely found that plasteel on the map itself is very rare, so you're really limited on uh, how you get plasteel. And prior to 1.1, a lot of the plasteel that I would get would come from mechanoids, and that has changed significantly now. I hope you enjoyed this very brief tutorial. I hope it helped you out a lot. And if it did, don't forget to, to leave a like on this video. Uh, also leave a comment as that helps me out a lot. And if you're watching this, would like to let you know that I stream on Twitch, uh, usually Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you enjoyed this content, you want to come out and check us live, come on over and uh, I'll see you there. Also, if you want any updates on different videos that I'm working on my channel, whatever, you can uh, join my Discord, which is also in a link in the description of the video here. And uh, I would love to uh, chat with you. Till next time. Belgar out.